Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your Intuitively Awakened Starseed here with a message for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. This is going to be a general message. It is a timeless reading and it is a message for all zodiac signs. So you guys, it's for everyone, all signs. Just please, Use discernment and take what resonates and leave the rest. Y'all, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, Paula Santos, some good energy, positive vibes. Let's go ahead and tap into your reading for today. You guys... I am definitely getting some energy here with your person, definitely picking up on, um, it's like there's, so it's like someone's watching you, watching you from a distance or something like that. That's the energy that I'm getting, but we're gonna take a look at the energy surrounding this connection and also to what your person's true intentions are um, with regards to your connection. So. Let's go ahead and tap in. Please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things. Y'all, let's tap in and see what is going on. The who, what, when, where, and why. Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective. Archangel Michael, please protect this reading. Thank you. Oh, this is someone that's been in hermit mode. Someone has been in hermit mode. So you're in separation from someone is what I'm getting. But this person's been by themselves. So this could have been somebody who was non-committal. This could be someone that was a player in the past. It, but they've been by themselves. So they're definitely in solitude. Isolation is what I'm getting, right? I feel like this person is doing a lot of inner work, but this person, there's like, I feel like this person is obsessing over you. And I, this person is watching you. It's like the hermit is like, the hermit is in isolation. They're by themselves, but also too, I'm picking up on tapping into that higher energy, that higher consciousness. And I feel like this person could definitely be connecting with you telepathically as well. This is someone that you've walked away from. Yeah, so you walked away from this person. You pulled your energy back. But it's like this person's been hiding their feelings, but they can't hide them or something like that. It's like, I feel like they've been isolated, but they feel like it's been long enough. Spirit, please give us more. Thank you. Mm. See, a very good omen. I'm seeing good karma. So it's like this person's intentions are really good. It's like their intentions are pure with regards to this connection. Yeah. Their intentions are completely pure when it comes to you. So I feel like this person, again, was definitely a player, right? But their energy is different with you. And I'm seeing that really good karma. Thank you, spirit. See, this is someone, oh, oh, this person is deeply in love with you and very attracted to you. And I feel like they're watching you. Divine Feminine, you are very attractive and you make a really nice appearance. So I feel like this is someone, and I'm speaking with you, Divine Feminine, you make a very nice appearance, very attractive, like, you know, and I feel like you're out and about a lot is what I'm getting, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, right? But I feel like, or you have been out and about a lot lately. Maybe you've been back and forth, um, maybe something to do with work. Maybe typically you work at home and, you know, you've been back and forth to the office, but you're making a very nice appearance. You could be getting out with friends or have recently been, you know, going to engagement, social engagement, something like that. Venues, I don't know, but you are making a stunning appearance. Look at that. Yeah, but this divine masculine, 
is seeing you. That's what I'm picking up on. And they're seeing just how attractive you are, how beautiful you are. And it's like, they want to take action to come towards you so bad. I feel like this Divine Masculine has definitely been watching you. Oh, yeah. Social media, but also to, you know, I feel like outside of social media, like within, you know, your community, the neighborhood, something like that, right? Now, I'm not getting like creepy or, you know, um, like stalkerish vibes or anything like that. But this Divine Masculine is just taken aback, right? By your beauty. And it's like they had, it's like they had you and they fumbled you, right? So now they're out in the cold and they have to watch you. But they have been in isolation. They have been in seclusion. They've been doing that inner work. They want a new beginning with you, right? I'm seeing an abundant new beginning. Yeah. This Divine Masculine wants to contact you so bad. They want to break no contact. So you guys, this separation, you guys are in no contact, right? Ooh, look at this. The Devil card. And this is clarifying this Eight of Cups. So you walked away because of some type of toxic behavior. Toxic controlling. I'm getting, could be that codependent energy. Something took place, right? I feel like there could have been a third party here, but you walked away, right? Wow. Look, next card, deep regret. I told y'all, look, they're out in the cold. So it's like they're out in the cold from you. So there's, they've stepped into their divine energy, divine feminine, but it's like, I'm like seeing a window, like a window. And then I'm seeing this window here. It's like they're on the outside looking in. They're seeing your glow up. They're seeing how beautiful you are. And they're seeing what they had with you. They watch you. Wow, this is something else, right? I feel like that's why I'm seeing that window too, right? Yeah. Wow, you guys. Something very significant with that window. Spiritual meaning, child. Yeah, I'm seeing, look, these hidden emotions. Pisces energy on the board. So you could be a Pisces. Your person could be a Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. But this person is definitely on the outside looking in, right? And they have like these hidden emotions. They want you to know how they feel. This person screwed, screwed up with you, right? I'm getting like they really messed up bad and they know it, right? But they're like... They're afraid to contact you. There's like a lot of anxiety with regards to coming towards you. Rejection. They're afraid that you'll reject them after what happened in the past, right? But then I'm seeing this eight of wands, right? I'm seeing the eight of wands, the three of cups, and then I'm seeing... The Nine of Cups. So, they can't keep their feelings a secret, I'm getting, right? They cannot keep their feelings a secret from you. It's hard for them to do that, right? It's it's getting harder for them to hold back from you. I feel like this person is obsessing over you. It's like a lot of hidden emotions. And I feel like there's going to be some type of fast movement, them coming towards you. I feel like there is a third party that's trying to block this. So even though you're in no contact, I feel like there is a third party that was thinking that this was, this separation was going to be permanent. So now there is a third party that's trying to work their way in between this divine masculine coming towards you, right? Revealing their feelings, this what they're holding. It's like a secret that they're holding, right? I'm seeing the nine of cups here. Yeah, so wish fulfillment is what I'm getting, right? You are 
this divine masculine's wish fulfillment and they want a commitment with you. And I'm seeing that third party trying to come in between it. Now I'm seeing the Hierophant card. So the Hierophant is definitely giving that spirituality. So I'm getting that, um, like that there's been an awakening, right? There has been an awakening, but also too that this divine masculine wants this long-term commitment with you. They want to have you for a lifetime, right? This lifetime, next lifetime, right? Yeah. So that unconditional love that you showed them in the past, they didn't forget about that. This is all that they could think about during this separation because now it was a void, right? It was a void. Your absence was felt so strong during this separation, right? This divine masculine has been isolated, but all they can think about is that unconditional love that you showed them, that divine, loving, healing, nurturing energy. You're an alchemist, right? And they can't keep their feelings a secret. They cannot keep these feelings a secret much longer, right? Yeah, ciao. It's like they're on the outside looking in at their divine feminine. And this is like really tearing this person up. They are attached to you. Ooh, you got another energy around you. This card came up twice during my, when I was shuffling. I have the five of swords here. I'm picking up on Aquarius energy. You could be an Aquarius. Your person could be an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart. I'm also picking up on some Capricorn energy. I'm going to say heavy on the Capricorn energy at this time. But I'm seeing that it's like there's someone that they feel like they feel like there may be competition and they want to eliminate the competition. So I feel like there's someone that is coming towards you. There could be another masculine um, coming towards you. See, because this divine masculine is still holding on to you, right? They're still very much attached to you. They watch you. This divine masculine, <laughs> child. This divine masculine is very, very methodical, right? This is somebody who is very stealthy, right? So I feel like, you know, you may feel a presence, right? Or just like feel like this person has been closer to you than you know, right? And I'm not saying that on a creepy level or anything like that, but this person has definitely been closer to you. So I feel like you feel as though this person has definitely moved on. They've moved on possibly with someone else. You feel like they've moved on with their life. No, this divine masculine is still very much attached to you, right? And I keep hearing like this person is closer than you think. Something like that, right? So they could be like friends with someone in your community, someone close to you. Could be something to do with your neighbors, getting information on you from neighbors, from friends, something like that, right? They've definitely been keeping tabs on you is what I'm getting. But this divine masculine, it's because they want to get a leg up, right? They want to know what's going on in your life. But I feel like they have picked up on some type of competition. Now, divine feminine, you could be having another masculine that's coming towards you. Yeah, there could be another masculine that's interested in you. Or this could be someone that this divine masculine has heard about through gossip because I'm hearing birds as I'm doing this reading, right? The birds are chirping loud, right? So there could be some gossip to whereas, you know, they're hearing that someone's getting closer to you or that someone has mentioned that they're interested in you, right? And that's why I'm picking up on this five of swords energy, right? Because this divine masculine, it feels like there is competition, but also I'm picking up on the energy that this divine masculine plans on eliminating the competition, right? So, you know, it's like they can't keep their feelings a secret much longer. And it's like now they feel like there's another energy coming towards you. 
They want this second chance, the phoenix rising from the ashes. They know that they messed up so bad in the past, right? They realize that and they realize that it may take a miracle, nothing but something pure, a miraculous event, right? I'm getting a, a fated meeting, divine intervention, right? To bring them back to this mission of unconditional love with you here in this lifetime, divine feminine. But I'm seeing here, they want that and they're still very much attached to you. Behind the scenes, divine feminine, this divine masculine does not play about you. Not at all. Ciao. Not at all. So you may not be aware of this energy, right? See, this is what, look at the very next card. So we got the Queen of Swords energy. This Divine Masculine is definitely, there's a fear of, this is what has kept them from coming towards you. That Queen of Swords energy, right? Because they had never seen you so cold. When you guys separated, that was something so different to them. They didn't know how to react or respond to the Queen of Swords energy, right? Yeah, they didn't know how. I feel like this Divine Masculine wanted to stop you from walking away and they couldn't because they didn't know how. This was a side of you that they had never seen, Divine Feminine. Yeah, so they were only exposed to that unconditional love, that healing, nurturing, how you overextend yourself, that Queen of Cups energy, but when the Queen of Cups turned into the Queen of Swords, this Divine Masculine was almost mute. Like they didn't know what to say. And it's like, this is why they've been keeping their feelings a secret is what I'm getting, right? It was that Queen of Swords energy this whole time. Ciao. They're hoping for a victory. They're holding out hope because this Divine Masculine is still attached to you. They want to take action to come towards you. I feel like they will be taking action to come towards you. Come through Aries energy. We got the emperor here. The emperor has showed up. Yes. This is the emperor energy. So this divine masculine is, huh? They have evolved. There is a whole evolution that has taken place. And I feel like they're definitely tapped into their higher frequencies, right? Their higher self. They're being guided by their God body is what I'm getting. Yes. Yes, they are. That's who's guiding them. That's that emperor energy, that God body energy. And look, this third party that's trying to come in between that because they want this energy of this divine masculine. They want that. They want it to be in divine feminine's position. They want it to be the one that this divine masculine was attached to, but they can't, they cannot. Because this divine masculine is attached to you, your beauty, but also your essence. So this third party, no matter what, no matter the situation, they will never be able to share that connection that you have with this divine masculine. Not in this lifetime, not in another lifetime. Yeah. This is something that you guys have traveled together. You guys have been through many lifetimes trying to get this right. And the soul activation has taken place here. And this divine masculine cannot keep their feelings a secret. This person is obsessing over you. Yeah, they are obsessing over you. I feel like they were hoping for a miracle, hoping for some divine intervention, right? Because of that Queen of Swords energy. Now, mind you, this person is not the type of person that is that is um, shy or something like that. But when it came to that shift in your energy, that affected them, right? So... I'm getting like, people are seeing a difference with this person. They are seeing a difference with this person, right? Yeah. How this person is reacting about you. Yes. Ciao. Justice, we got confirmation, truth, 
and now I'm seeing death cards. So there's definitely a major transformation that has taken place with this divine masculine. It is an awakening, right? This divine masculine has ascended, right? So now I'm seeing here this divine masculine It's like they are so different. So remember I said they were in isolation, right? Yeah, this they were in hermit mode. So they're no longer in this energy. But I feel like when this divine masculine ascended, when they awaken, they're so different. And I feel like this is what this third party wanted. And it's not for this third party. This is for their divine counterpart. This awakening is happening because you guys are being drawn back together. This is the universe bringing you guys back together. It's not for this third party, right? Mm -mm. This is all for you, Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Yeah, but they can't keep these feelings a secret for you much longer. That's why I'm feeling like this Divine Masculine is going to be taking action soon to come towards you. See, they've cut off all of this past energy. This divine masculine has went, I'm getting no contact or something like that. Uh-huh. Or just ghosted like a lot of people from their past because there's a shift. Yeah, there is a shift because there has been an awakening, right? And so this past energy, I'm getting this third party. They can't come in between you guys because look, your divine love your unconditional love is what brought this divine masculine to this point, right? It's your unconditional love, your unwavering love, right? Ciao. That's something that's on the spiritual level, something that's on the supernatural level. And this divine masculine, see, here we go. Here we go. I told you. I told you. Oh, oh. So, yeah. Remember I was saying about this divine masculine picking up on another energy, another masculine energy? Here we are. This is, this divine masculine is protective, very protective over this union. Even though you're separated, they're very protective over you, right? Behind the scenes, this divine masculine is, whoa. And I feel like this could be something that they're hearing in the community, but they're not letting nobody else come towards you. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you're not even aware of with this divine masculine and other masculine energies, divine feminine. Yeah. Wow. The seven of wands. Because look, there's a spying energy, Aquarius energy showing up. This divine masculine spying is what I'm getting, right? Watching you and also getting information. And I feel like anybody, any other masculine that's trying to come towards you, they are getting blocked. I picked up on Slade, child. Look at this. King of Swords. They don't play about you. And this is their head over heart type of energy. This divine masculine has made up their mind. And they're not, like I said, they're not having it. And that, look at this. That's clarifying this Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. This Divine Masculine is very much attached to you <laughs> in their head about you. Look at that. Eight of Swords. Yep. Because they want this new beginning with you, Divine Feminine. Ace of Cups. Come through, Spirit. They want this new beginning with you. It's all about... so. You are very attractive. I keep getting that energy. Like you are extremely attractive. And this divine masculine, when they see you, it's like, I feel like that's, it's so, they're so attracted to you, right? But it's also that unconditional love. It's that supernatural connection with regards to your soul, your spirit, you guys being connected on a soul level, right? This is something that cannot be copied. This is something, this is your essence, right? And you guys mirror, you mirrored this divine energy, this unconditional love, right? So you awaken that in this divine masculine and they want to give that to you. They want to reciprocate. They want to reciprocate that love, that unconditional love right with you divine feminine yes 
See, this divine masculine is coming into balance and they don't want nobody else but you. Look, you see that? Love offers coming in. This divine masculine is focused on you. It's all about you. Look at this. Temperance, right? So balance. Balance, right? I'm seeing you guys coming back into harmony. Sagittarius energy on the board. Ciao. This divine masculine is going to take action. And I feel like this free-spirited energy, right? And I'm picking up on free-spirited energy. So it's like this divine masculine is not going to let anything, anything around you. And see, I'm picking up on that other masculine energy. But this divine masculine is confident in the love and in the connection that you guys have. Divine feminine, this divine masculine realizes that nothing can penetrate that because they have had an awakening during their hermit mode, right? They realize that it, this is for some of you guys, not all of you guys, but if there's masculine energy, another masculine energy around you, this is not going to stop this divine masculine because they realize this deep connection that they have with you. Yeah, it transcends time and space. This lifetime, they realize that this is something that has happened in the astral plane. This is something, a past life connection, right? Mm-hmm. Yup. They realize this past life connection, right? So you guys have a soul contract. You have a soul agreement. And they don't care. They holding you to that contract. The love is real. The love is real. And they're not focused on anybody that's around you. I'm just putting that out there. They're making plans to come back towards you. Oh, look at this. Fool card. Mm-hmm. No longer a fool. Yeah, they learned after that tower moment. That difficult ending that you guys shared, they regret their choices. The choices that they made, they regret them, right? And I'm seeing here with the full card, this divine masculine wants to forget all about that. None of that matters. None of that matters. And they can't keep their feelings a secret much longer. That's what I'm getting, y'all. I feel like there could be a faded meeting as well. But... This divine masculine, I feel like it's going to take action either way. That's what I'm getting, right? Because they're tired of being without their divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please give us more. See, look at that. Three of Pentacles. Wanting to rebuild. Wanting to rebuild. Look at that. Three of Pentacles. Wanting to rebuild the foundation. And also, too, I'm seeing here... This divine masculine really wants to get back on the right track with you. Yes. Who I'm seeing some type of conflict or confusion. I don't know who you got around you, divine feminine. Or this could be conflict and confusion that's happening behind the scenes with another masculine over you, divine feminine. Because I'm definitely getting that type of energy in this reading. But... I'm seeing you are their yin, their yang. You are the world to this divine masculine. They're not letting anybody come in between this, right? And I'm seeing a new beginning. Mm-hmm. I am seeing a new beginning. I feel like you're tapped into their energy. Yeah, because this is very strong. Look, King of Wands. This is some very strong energy, right? Taking action, coming towards you. But this... High Priestess card. I feel like you're picking up on this Divine Masculine's energy. Yeah. Remember I was saying earlier, like, you may feel the presence of this Divine Masculine and they're closer than you think. Something like that, right? You're picking up on them. There's some telepathic communication. This Divine Masculine is manifesting you is what I'm getting. Yes. Yes, they are manifesting you, right? And it's like they're surrendering to their love, to their desires for you is what I'm getting. Yeah, what else we got here, spirit? Please give us more for the collective. I'm seeing, see, communication, right? So I'm picking up on communication coming in. Yeah, so I'm getting this with this Ace of Swords. This, they want to... Look at this, a divine union. 
This is a divine union. Yeah. So this is them wanting to come. It's like you guys are being divinely guided back together. So the universe is definitely working behind the scenes, bringing you guys back into frequency, back into alignment, right? That I told you, look, this divine masculine has been, look, with the 10 of wands, and then we have the Empress card. This divine masculine has been hiding, like keeping their feelings a secret, but they can't anymore. It's a burden. They are in love with you. You are so beautiful inside and out. It's like your light, your energy, that unconditional love. They, their soul recognizes you finally here in this physical plane as their divine counterpart. The Empress card is here. You are their Empress, divine feminine, and they can't keep their feelings a secret. They can't hold back, right? This person is obsessing over you, has been hoping for a miracle. They are taking a leap of faith, I'm getting, right? I'm picking up there could be a faded meeting, but I feel like this divine masculine is definitely ready to take a leap of faith with their divine feminine. Look at this, the emperor, empress, look, loving, nurturing, healing energy. They don't want nobody else but you, child. Then the lover's card and the page of cups. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Page of cups. And then I'm getting the lover's card here. So I'm seeing Gemini energy on the board, right? This divine masculine wants to be back in union with you. And I am seeing page of cups. So that's definitely giving a small love offer. This person moving slow trying to create a strong foundation with you. They want to do it right this time. That's what I'm getting. They want things to be right this time. They don't want to lose you in this lifetime. It's like they spent so many lifetimes trying to find you. Wow. And trying to make this connection that was manifested in the spiritual realm. But now this is the manifestation of unconditional love here in this physical realm. Look at this taking action for a new beginning, tapped into their higher self, a whole new perspective, right? A whole new thought process with this divine masculine. Yes. Look, I feel like they were juggling in the past. There was a player, that player energy, but I'm seeing this divine masculine is definitely, I'm getting definitely making you a priority. You are the priority because guess what? You're the only one to contain them. And there it is, eternal, infinite love, right? Unconditional love, eternal, infinite. Yes, look at that. Strength, Leo energy. Come through, spirit. Come through, spirit. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more for the collective. Queen of Pentacles, this Divine Masculine recognizes your strength, your gentle strength, your resilience. They realize that you are very strong and it's like, but that soft energy that they know it's still there under that Queen of Swords energy, right? They realize that you are still that star seed, that light worker, right? And it's like, they realize that you're strong. They realize that you're independent. They realize all of that, right? But it's like, this divine masculine wants to find their place in your life. Mm-hmm. Look at this past life connection, y'all. Six of Cups, past life connection. So I'm getting the energy to where as you guys, this is definitely confirming that past life connection, but also this is a divine masculine, just thinking about the past and the way that you loved on them in the past, obsessing over that, very nostalgic about the past with you, right? And look, true love, that's the star card. So we got true love, oh, and happy harmony in a home life. Look at this, coming into balance and harmony, there's 11-11. We have the 1111, so that's all about doors opening, right? That angel number 1111, but also I'm seeing here harmony, happiness, and a commitment. That's a ceremony there. So a commitment ceremony, yes, 
This is my masculine being out in the cold watching you. They done learned their lesson. The wounded soldier wants to come home. And they know that you are home. You are home to them, Divine Feminine. And they're trying to figure out a way to harvest this union back. Yes, they are. Mm. This is very difficult for them. Look at that, Ten of Swords. Very difficult for them being separated from you. And they're looking. You see this card here, right? They're trying to figure out their way back to you. Let's go ahead and go to the Oracle, you guys, and see what we get. Yes. Wow. This person, they really, they can't hold those feelings back much longer. That's what I'm getting. And that's confirmation, right? I feel like there has been judgment, though. There's been like, this person has been under judgment, right? But they've been isolated, right? Yes. And learning from this, ascending is what I'm getting. This divine masculine ascending, right? Definitely um, awakening, like a spiritual awakening, the symptoms of that, right? Just an awakening and tapping into what truly matters. They're divine feminine, yes. Child, let's go ahead and go over to the oracle here and see what we get. Spare, please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. What's ahead for this connection? What is the energy? going forward for this connection divine feminine divine masculine what is the energy going forward mm, follow your heart divine feminine i know you mad spirit saying open up your heart to this divine masculine right mm -hmm. what else we got what else we got spirit please give us more for the collective divine feminine divine masculine thank you divine timing see it's all working out in divine timing i always say love is messy right and love finds you in your mess right but this is all a part of divine timing this union being divinely guided yeah you're on the journey of the soul plane right so it's like this is manifested your love is manifesting here in the physical plane that's what's happening right it's a bumpy ride, though, especially with these twin flame energies, right? Spirit, please give us more. Thank you. Thinking about you all the time. Thinking about you and watching you, Divine Feminine. Yes. What else we got? Wow. See? I told you that solitude that they were in. This is this Divine Masculine's current energy. That solitude that they were in, they are definitely um, awakening, right? They are awakening they have awakened to this connection, right? Learning about this soul contract, um, this soul agreement that you guys share, and they want a new beginning. That's where they're focused on because they realize this is real love. Our love is real, and this person is missing you. Missing you, yes. And they want to be everything that they should have been in the past. I'm seeing expectation. Mm-hmm. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. They can't keep their feelings a secret, divine feminine. They cannot. They're getting ready to, I feel like, definitely take a leap of faith, right? They want that promise. So they want a commitment with you. They want a long-term commitment, and they want to resume that mission of unconditional love with you here in the physical realm I told you, twin flame energy. Yes. Yep. You guys are mirroring one another. You mirror what each other is going through. And that's why I feel like you're definitely picking up on this person's energy. They're hoping for your forgiveness, right? So I feel like there's telepathic communication here. This person is hoping for your forgiveness, but they need you because guess what? You are the missing piece to their soul, right? And they have changed, they have ascended, right? And again, Spirit said, follow your bliss, follow your heart with this divine feminine. Mm -hmm. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. See, deep regret. I'm getting an apology. They want forgiveness. Karmic battles. Karmic battles. That's that energy that I was picking up on coming in between you guys, this third party. 
not going to happen. Spirit, please give us more because this divine masculine is not in alignment. They're the energy. They're no longer in that low vibrational energy. So that would, that can't, it's not going to happen, right? Spirit, please give us more. This divine masculine wants you to have faith in the connection, faith in them, right? The silence has definitely been difficult for them. Remember, we've seen that 10 of swords. So being in no contact with you has been extremely hard for this divine masculine. But I am seeing that there's something to do with illusions. And I feel like this divine masculine really looked at this separation as temporary. And that was the illusion there, right? Because they never took this as though, you know, um, you guys would be separated forever. It was like a part of them just would not accept that, right? Yeah. I feel like there was a fear that they had lost you forever, but a part of them would not accept it, if that makes sense, right? Yeah. What else we got? Look, you are my world. Ciao. There's that Leo energy showing up, that eternal, infinite love, and you being the only one that knows how to love on this divine masculine and the only one that knows how to tame them. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. As always, I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.